The floor now goes to Mr. Harris Theotharis from Greece. Uh, let me um, start before sharing my experience uh, of the past uh, few uh, months with the pandemic as a Minister of Tourism of Greece by thanking um, Alessandra Priantev of the UNWTO uh, for her kind words and uh, to say that without her support, our ministry and other European ministries would not be able to recover uh, the way we did uh, last year. Now, we are in the midst of three crises. The, the pandemic is not over. We have the global um, um, price crisis, and of course we have the war in our backyard. So it's important to start uh, discussing the lessons learned. The first, in my view, lesson is that we remembered that sustainability is not just about the environment or cultural uh, diversity. It's also the economic and the social uh, dimensions of sustainability that we have to take into account. We saw the collapse of the tourism industry, minus 86% was the number that the UNWTO gave us. Uh, that collapse uh, created a lot of hardship. Now, the second lesson is that without international cooperation, we cannot um, uh, recover uh, and be able to work uh, in the tourism industry. It's an international endeavor and it needs international cooperation. Now, Europe managed with the great difficulty to come up with uh, specific rules in terms of travel uh, and the uh, Greek proposal of the digital green pass was an important part of that. Uh, and this is why um, uh, Europe recovered most than any other uh, region in the world in terms of tourism. Uh, already we know that tourism, uh, Europe is the most uh, touristically de developed region and it recovered better uh, than else. And I urge uh, the countries to sit on the table now and discuss common rules for the next day. Uh, perhaps in October, perhaps earlier, we might need to reinstitute travel restrictions and we need to do that in a way which is coordinated and escalated. We didn't manage to do it very, very well during the crisis we, uh, this is going to be time well spent uh, if we invest in common steps. Now, the, the third uh, issue is the complexity of the next steps. Uh, we cannot underestimate the task that we have uh, in our hands. Uh, first, to rebuild the industry, uh, the recovery plans for the industry, to refocus the governance policy to promote optimal destination management, to strengthen the industry, to su uh, achieve sustainable, responsible, and smart tourism, and of course to plan for the future uh, by promoting the strategic adaptation of the sector, taking into consideration the mega trends and of course the uh, Green Deal, uh, et cetera, et cetera. The uh, fifth issue uh, is funding. Uh, we are talking about SMEs by and large, and SMEs are not necessarily uh, uh, bankable uh, so easily as larger corporations. As a result, uh, we need to do a lot more about funding. We welcome the uh, platforms, the guide uh, of EU funding for tourism, etc. those initiatives that provide more visibility, but we also support the creation of specific budget lines at the European level for tourism for the next programming period in order to solve those solutions. Um, the penultimate uh, point is how important data harmonization it is to be able to um, deal with all this uh, crisis. We have a multiple crisis management, and I think we require more data. A successful transformation requires more data and more harmonized data, and I think that's another area that Europe can work together. Uh, and finally, I'm closing uh, this uh, conscious of the time, dear colleagues, by saying that the recent waves of successive crisis has shown us uh, one thing. Tourism, the tourism sector, on the one hand, is the most vulnerable sector of the economy, and on the other hand, it's one of the most socially important sectors uh, of the economy. Jobs, youth, women, and SMEs all depend more on tourism than the rest of the economic sectors for their well-being. Therefore, if resilience is going to be at the core of our policies, we must start with the tourism sector. Thank you very much.